When I was 21 in 1942, I was thinking about joining the Army. I'm a double! And my family, my brothers and sisters all said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But my mother said, go for it. I feel like a pioneer because it was, <laughs> it was all so new. I crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1944 on the Queen Elizabeth. She's the sister ship to the Queen Mary, and we were unescorted, and we zigzagged across the ocean to miss the U-boats. On the beachhead, they took us over to a South Side kitchen for a hot meal one time. One of the cooks came up to me and he said, would you like a helmet of hot water? I said, oh boy, would I ever. <laughs> I'd rather have the hot water than the food. We were the headquarters for the depots that were spread out in France and in Belgium. And we provided ammunition and weaponry to the troops. I was there when the Battle of the Bulge, when they tried to take us back. I got the Rocco de Guerre thanking me for helping to free them. I thought that was kind of neat. When I went in, it was not a career. There was no thought about staying in and retiring. So there was no way. A woman in that days, and, and where I came from anyway, it was considered a waste of time. So you, you paved the way for, for oh, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we women have come a long way. Yes. <laughs> we have come a long way. Yes, yeah.